going on guys? Well, it's, hey, Hair Metal Mondays, are you ready? Are you ready? Need to calm down. <laughs> Just had coffee. Welcome back, another Hair Metal Mondays, AD Metal Mondays, what, what, I don't even remember what I call it. It's one of the two. It's whatever is more convenient. So today, we are talking about easy and just fun to play 80s metal riffs. Now I didn't, I didn't go with like the super simple ones that are just like... Not that, you know, lick it up and stuff's not killer riffs. But I went with ones that to me are just, you know, there's a little bit going on, but they're just more fun to play than anything else. So let's dive onto these. If you want the tabs, you can grab those down below. Oh. And real quick before we jump into this, let me know if you guys would like some individual videos focused on one player, like a whole video focused on Warren D. Martini, a whole video focused on Vito Brada, you know, that kind of stuff. Let me know down in the comments. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to make some of that stuff happen as well and focus on individuals, not just so much the entire genre. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and dive on into these. Now we're gonna have to endure the sound. My neighbor is mowing. He's always mowing. You know, just joking. We have really good neighbors. But uh, today we're talking about In My Dreams, the first riff. And I'm gonna do all of these riffs in standard tuning. So some of these are tuned down a little bit. Uh, make sure you look up the song if you want to get the exact tuning. But In My Dreams, now it's not the main riff, the... Oh. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like forgetting the main riff. It's not that, I've, I've used that in another video, but what I want to show is this verse riff that I always really love. Let me turn this down just a little bit so the camera mic isn't clipping <laughs> quite as much. So it goes like a... I, I always thought it was such a cool riff, and it's basically just an E minor, but you play it um, open A string and D string, and you hammer on to the second fret on the A and D, so... Three times in a row, and then I'm adding all those palm mutes in between. So, okay, you can see it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. A little power chord tag here at the end. Third fret on the A string, so I'm doing a C5 power chord. Go all the way up to seven and nine, and then you go all the way to five and seven. You play that uh, five and seven, or the D5, two times. Da -da and then he goes to the next riff, which we're not gonna worry about. But, um... Oh, it's so good. It's just, it's a fun riff to play. Learn that whole song, even the solo. Can't 
can't remember it all. Something like that. It's, it's not as sloppy as I played it. Alright, look what the cat dragged down, and this is one of them that is tuned down. In My Dreams might have been tuned down as well. But this one, I always thought it was so funny because it's just a, such a, just a heavy riff for Poison and CeCe. You know, he doesn't really have any other riffs that sound like this that I can remember. Um... Now the main intro riff changes halfway through. It starts out like that with those palm mutes, and then it goes to the, the big open chords in there. So um, I'm going to do the main way the riff, you know, comes into the song. You're palm muting twice on the low E string. And then you're essentially doing little power chords, but they're like double stops. And it's two on the A and the D, then two more palm mutes, and then you go to four on the A and the D. Then two more palm mutes, five on the A and D. So, then you go back to four. It's basically like going, I'm oh, sorry. That would be like the lower power chord version of it. Two more palm mutes, and then you go, and you slide up to four and five. And you know what? I forgot to turn my delay off. There you have, like I said, a very simple riff. If you just get those palm muting parts down. I said that's the most difficult part, that sliding up from four on the A and D to five on the A and D. Then eventually you hear it. Then you start setting those open uh, A or E5 chord. Basically the same thing, but just open. Slide it in, some white snake action going on here. This just makes you think of the kiss riff. Uh, and I actually had Heavens on Fire, but I decided not to use that one. So maybe I'll save that for another video. I, I love, that's like one of my favorite kiss songs. Heavens on Fire. Anyways, slide it in. Such a cool riff. It's just like your straight ahead rock and roll kind of like uh, Queen, you know, all those 70s bands did this. So it's holding down A on the, uh, I'm sorry, A, it's an A chord. It's holding down second fret on the D, G, and B. And then here's your little rock and roll move. It's in so many songs, like every Boston song ever. So I take my uh, ring finger and I'm gonna put it down on four. I still hold two down and then my middle finger goes on three on the B. I just kind of keep my finger barred. And he does the exact same thing when he slides up here. And you go all the way up here. First one's all picked. Now the second one has hammer-ons. So you're up here on seven. So basically it's like a D. D major. And he's hammering on to essentially a G. So you have seven, 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 play it, and you hammer on to nine on the D, and then, uh, what is this, eight on the B. Then you hit it again with those, uh, you know, strings fretted. Okay, so. Pick them back up, hammer them back on. Pick them back up. <laughs> That's really how that goes. Now, you hear at the end when he does, I think, the second time when the band kicks in, he goes... He bends, I can't remember on which string. There it is. It's just in there for like one second. But that's that slide on it, man, it's just a fun, easy riff. You've probably been doing this stuff... You do it all the time and it's just... It's, it's a White Snake classic. Rock the night, yo, let's get some Europe in here. I love Europe. I think this is, this is John Norum era Europe. I can't remember. It's either Key Marcello or John Norum. Both, I love both guitar players so much. Um, but I think this is John Norum. But anyways, it goes like this. Uh, it just, it's almost like a Rocky Like a Hurricane style riff. Oh, it's so good. It's, it, this is probably the most fun out of all of these. I, this was the one when I learned it, I'm like, this riff is just 100% fun. 
So you're up here doing an E5 on the um, seventh fret of the A string and ninth fret on the D. Play it twice. Now you go down here and you're gonna do second fret on the low E string power chord, up to third fret. So third fret on the A string power chord, up to fifth fret. So we have. Kind of backtrack a little bit, three, third fret low E string, up to fifth fret low E string. Now everything's been power chords so far, he ends it with this little tag here where he's doing, it's just single notes, it's fifth fret on the low E string to third fret on the low E string. Oh, no, sorry, then it goes. Like that, uh, that little B up to uh, C, so second fret A string power chord. You let it ring out. I've been through changes. I've been through pain. Whatever he says, but uh, man, that's a that's a killer one for sure. Yo, and you know, I, I think I pretty much I'm gonna have Rat on every single episode. I'm I'm just such a huge Warren D. Martini fan. Now this could be a Robin Crosby riff. I'm I'm not sure whose riff this was. But, um, you know, there's certainly a warm solo that kicks in. So the riff goes like this. Oh, hold on, let me do it right. Lots of different ways to add that little ending part. So it starts out like this. Open low E string, third fret on the low E, and then an A5. Okay, two palm mutes. Then you have your little stab of the chord here. Fifth fret on the D, and then fourth fret on the G. A little harmony third right there. Now between this one, I, I found he hits one palm mute, and then third fret on the D and second fret. Same shape, just slid down two frets. So. all those palm mutes. You have all in there. So let me do all the other ones. I can't count those for some reason. I, I can just play it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so there's five palm mutes. Now the little ending part here, I see people play it different ways. Um, you can either do that, so it's just 3rd fret on the A string to 2nd fret. I like to go like this. Kind of that, that kiss power chord thing. And I miss somebody doing a C5, so 3rd fret on the A string and 5th fret on the D. Then I slide my pointer finger down to get that 2. It's like the AC. So there you guys have it, some easy 80s metal riffs. These are just fun to play. Um, other than that, just have fun with it. Snag the tabs if you want to. And like I said, I'm, I'm working hard on that 80s metal course that will be coming out before you know it. And um, I think Rock and Roll Boot Camp Part 2 will come out first, and then the 80s course will come out with my 80s EP. So um, all that is in the fire and cooking. We're working hard on it, guys. And um, other than that, I'll just see you Wednesday, and have a great rest of your day. So later, homies. Whoop! <laughs> I almost forgot, here's some 80s metal riffing for you to solo over. Let's get it.